Inhibition425 gets that, and I miss the other person, but congrats to both you token winners. And I just got to say, shout out to Abyssian, nice name there, good reference to uh, Tales series, specifically Symphonia, that's what I'm talking about, guys. Secret bosses, am I right? Yeah, so, I uh, meanwhile, we are having a switching on normal match. These matches that I seem to gravitate to me, at least during my, uh, during my commentary, you see a lot of them. And on the blue team, we've got right out in front, Cresselia, followed by Bonsly and Farfetched. And on the red team, we have Grumpig, Ninetales, and Carnivine. Something seems meme about that team, and I can't quite put my finger on it. Maybe Carnivine's... There's something about yeah. Carnivine's face. Yeah, he just... <laughs> he, he, he betrays himself as a meme Pokemon every time he shows, he shows that big ol' smile. And as gibberish is espoused from the sim, um, do you mind telling me, B-Boy, do you see anything, anything on either of these teams that speaks to you? I see absolutely nothing. Nothing. I'm just a commentator. I mean, you <laughs> no, got Cresselia, you we'll got Cresselia to there. It's, uh, yeah. it's a legendary. I promise you that's a legendary Pokemon. You might not have seen it before because it's just... Wait. Just, yeah. Oh, it's holding a metronome. I oh. thought for a second I was a metronome set. I was going to get really excited. But no. I guess uh, Cresselia confirmed small Pokemon. And Red Team's about the medium-sized Pokemon. It's a little bit like that kind of uh, fight. Oh, it's got, so the metronome item, not everybody might know what the metronome item is, but what that item does is every time you use a move in succession, the same move, I believe it increases the damage of the move by like 5%, 10%, something like that. Oh, very and so nice. I think it's meant to be used in conjunction with Fury, Fury Cutter, because, oh boy, so I can't does, wait uh, more damage to see there. what they do with that one, but F Fury Cutter is going to increase naturally every time you use it, and the metronome is going to give it a little boost too. But just in case someone might not know what that item does, that's what it does. Less than a minute left to get your bets in, guys. <laughs> oh, so any, you guys uh, are great. Any predictions here for uh, our stadium? I I think we're going to be in the Stargazer Coliseum, appropriate to Cresselia. I think it's so? going to be appropriate. All right, we're going to find <laughs> out in less than 20 seconds. You guys can place your bets now if you guys want to bet on this match yep and if you can hear my voice it's probably far too late for you to bet on the match I hope you got in if you wanted to in any case uh, looks like oh man red team's got the payout definitely oh wait on a odds evened up a little bit got That's a little a bit good, closer good <laughs> We, we, we can kind of see the stars-ish, but it's definitely not the star Stargazer Coliseum. Let's see if oh, Fog... Jeff. It's been the longest time since I even had Fog intrude on one of my commentator matches. Oh, this is it! Fog. TPP yeah. Fog Jam! That's Fog what I'm boys. talking about, guys. Let's go! Everyone's strats are messed with as the Fog comes out. Payback not even going to hit because, hey, it's foggy. Pokemon couldn't even see my Fury Cutter. That's... The it's got worse accuracy than payback, but that's going to make it contact. Not for very much damage, but we'll see if they can make more contact. I think the Jaboka Berry actually did more than that That first hit of Fury Cutter. That's funny. Or amusing. Oh, but now fi payback okay, finally yeah. hits. Here we go. He gets a pretty good start, but a super effective, but just does just a bit of damage there. Not really too much, but Caselli is going to hit back with a swift. Hmm, shifting off the Fury Cutter doesn't get the metronome boost, but the Swift is... I, sp I mean, it's damage, you can't miss. They, they, they are, they want to go for the accuracy in the Fog, I can respect that. As the Fog deepens in our Coliseum here, the Red Team is going to go for a switch and is going to bring out Nine Tails. And there is the sunlight, even though it's nighttime. And now they're back on Fury Cutter, this is going to do a very small amount against Nine Tails. Unfortunately, switching back to that Fury Cutter, they haven't quite triggered their metronome yet, as the Overheat's going to come out from Ninetales to deal massive damage to this Cresselia, but it's a tanky Pokemon. Ninetales' uh, special attack is going to harshly fall after that, but Cresselia's going to go and attack with a Swift, and it's going to do some damage there. 
Not bad. Just a little bit. Ninetales Nine also yeah. a specially tanky Pokemon. Both of these Pokemon are very good in the special defense category. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, actually, to see Ninetales actually tank it out, that's pretty cool. So uh, blue team going for a switch here, and they're gonna bring out. Bond slide. Bond <laughs> slide. There we go. Thanks, from, man. Uh, <laughs> from Nine Tails. Wait. Oh, okay. Yep. Bond slide is now uh, specially impaired, as Nine Tails is back at uh, full tank of gas, supposedly. Oh wait. It's. Oh, they they don't want that uh, special decrease, so they're gonna switch out. So Farfetch is sent out. Uh, ooh, Ninetales is gonna burrow on its way underground as the sunlight is strong here in the Coliseum. And Farfetch so... is going to laugh as Dig has stick. no way of hitting it. <laughs> Farfetch goes for a trump card. Mr. President. <laughs> Pretty, uh, this match has a lot of lol in it. <laughs> Indeed. But will it be enough to go around as the overheat deals? Oh my goodness! Just barely tanking it! The normal type, let it never be said that a normal Pokemon can't tank a special move. As the trump card is gonna hit again for bigger damage against that Ninetales. Oh! Taken down. Alright, so blue loses their, uh, red loses their first Pokemon. I believe they're going to be sent in a Grumpig back out. Far Farfetch has the best moves. Farfetch has all the moves. Oh, but Farfetch the... is Wait the a second. Moves. Did pressure come in? Did it, it, it couldn't have used it. Oh, no. I don't, under I don't understand how that happened. If pressure... It, I know it didn't use that many trump cards. Or does it literally only get two? Okay, wh whatever. I'm, I'm hopeless. In any case... Well, Match at hand, Bonsly versus the pig. Here we go, so Grum Pig uses return. Oh, okay. So it did start with two. Alright, maybe that's fair. <laughs> or maybe they just yeah, they just wanted to do more damage early on. There's the rock slide from Bonsly. Rock slide from Bonsly. Hey. Pulls off the tongue nicely. Very nice. This performance is unbelievable. <laughs> yep, indeed. Red team going for another switch. He's gonna send out Carnivine. Look at that guy. This, I mean, Carnivine is almost too ridiculous to be a Pokemon. Like, he stepped out from a different Carnivine, right? I think so. <laughs> isn't, that what, isn't that how you say it? Carnivine? I have no idea. In so any case... I, I am the worst, but you, know, you know this, I'm the worst pronouncing it here. <laughs> it, it, it almost looks like it stepped out of another game, but anyways... Uh, it's still a, you know, it's it's a lovely Pokemon. Come on, we're we're all, it's a fun guy to have around. Look at that magical leaf coming in for not very effective against Farfetch, but it won't matter because it's low enough out to take it out. Here we go, both teams down to two Pokemon. So it's uh, two versus two, pretty even. Here's the magical leaf. Magical leaf coming from Carnivine. Whoa, that's big damage on that bond slide. Never stood wow, a chance. I didn't expect that. That was pretty impressive there. All right, not bad. So now Blue it's all going to have to Priscilla. rely on its le yeah, its legendary, which wasn't it great health, I believe. Priscilla, a pretty strong Pokemon, I guess, right? So maybe you could clutch it out here. I wouldn't count it out, right? Goes for a Fury Cutter. That is going to be super effective on the Carnivine. Super effective on all the remaining Pokemon, now that I think of it. Oh, what? But it does no damage. Uh, so I guess uh, Carnivine is going to go for a Sludge Bomb here, and it's going to hit Cresselia, and it's going to need to do almost critical HP there. It's a decent dent in Cresselia, but I think with a low enough roll, Cresselia could survive the next turn. I might That might be wishful thinking for Blue Team. This one is going to do significantly more damage with the Metronome and the Fury Cutter activation. Okay, 
When I say significantly, I thought it would be more than that, but <laughs> sadly, no. Ooh, Cresselli just barely hangs on there with just a little bit of HP. Oh, and it's poison. It's, there's not much hope left here in this match with the blue. Oh, oh yeah, that's a wrap. Bummer. Back it up, guys. So it did survive the roll, but not the roll of the dice on that poison. And Red Team once again gets that clutch underdog. Well done. With a 117% payout. Congratulations. <laughs> you might be right, Pixel. You might be right. Given that with the metronome and super effective, it did like nada. It's it's a bummer. <laughs> At least we got to see the Courtyard Coliseum with Fog. I mean, even yeah, though it was for the beginning, but, yeah. Still even... good to see Fog, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's a <laughs> poor consolation for the losers of that game, but I'm sure that they'll be ready to win their money back in the next one. Here we are back to naming our Pokemon. I guess we're going to go for... Baka. Left here. Baka? Oh. I think that's a, a... Oh, maybe I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, guys. In any case, there's, that's a possibility that we're going to go for that one. And two tokens on the line, so get your inputs in. So you can get one of these two tokens. And I think there's a bribe somewhere. I'm not sure. I've heard, I've heard tell. <laughs> Wait! Are they really... Are, are you guys trying to... Uh, time, trying to just time out with back? <laughs> And G-Force fly and flip Rebound. something. Get the tokens. Congratulations. I was somewhere between congrats and congratulations. <laughs> oh, and we have Ninetales returning back. Uh, it wasn't pleased with the last matchup. So here we go. Normal match. Boy, it's switching on. On the blue team, we have Sableye, uh, Weezcash, <laughs> and Absol. <laughs> And on the red team, we have Nidorino, Muck, and Ninetales. And uh, looks like we've got a Gen 1 setup on, on red team, and it is nice that Ninetales is back to try and <laughs> sort of earn back its pride, I guess. The redemption run. Well, yep. Got ourselves another uh, normal match with switching on, guys. So, so yeah, have at your switch wars because that's apparently that's that's what I'm here for, is to set up the switch wars. It really is if if you if you can get the delay right, I think switching matches on the whole are more interesting. Like if you got people who are pretty, uh, like if if you got strong strong betters who like know the delay, it could be very exciting to see a switch switch war going on. And, People trying to outpredict each other. I have trouble with delay and still figuring out exactly like when to switch and when not to switch. So it's tough for me to do that kind of thing. But I enjoy seeing you guys, uh, you guys engage in those strats. I guess. <laughs> me, look at me, look at me, me, big boy, big boy. Oh, and I'm B Boy Tips. Hey. <laughs> B-Boys, B-Boys coming at you. One minute left to get your bets in on this switching on match. Um, let's see, things that stand out to me. We got Sab Sableye on the blue team. That's one of my favorite Pokemon from Gen 3. I don't know how it fares in this match matchup. I guess it got, it got two poison type Pokemon, so the poison stab isn't very good against it. I don't know, I, I just, I, I probably, if I, if I leaned one way, I would lean towards uh, <clears throat> blue team for that reason. You also got it, you know, that Gen 1, Gen 1 represent on Red Team. They're all in this together. If I had to do some picks here, I'd probably go with Red Team, uh, just because I think the speed favors them a little bit more with Nidorino and Ninetales. So that's Ooh. in favor of their matchup. That's a, that's a good point. Oh, and I didn't even notice that, that the, it had drill, horn drill. I think uh, pretty someone effective. would take take advantage of that. But oh well, too late. If you can hear my voice, you can't bet anymore, and it's and the match is beginning now. If you can hear my voice, clap once. If you can hear my voice, clap twice. If you can hear my voice, do a little dance. 
And here we are at Stargazer Coliseum. <laughs> We're gonna see a Pokemon battle. I hope. <laughs> Me too, yeah. Let's, let's hope it's a Pokemon battle. <laughs> and even before Red and, and Blue start beating each other up, just <laughs> no Pokemon involved at all. This is an interesting app, all set. I wasn't paying attention to it during the setup, but at, at Stone Edge. Very interesting. Out comes a sludge bomb from from the Rhino. And there's the edge. Can you feel the edge from Absol? Can you feel it, chat? Ow, I think I just hurt myself on the edge. I can feel it. Nidorino goes for a head smash. It bashes Absol. Absalt. <laughs> Yes, there is some salt as it hits back itself. And the bite from Absol, that's... Is that going to be enough? Looks Ooh, like it, it is. is. Very nice. And down goes Red Team's Pokemon. Looks like... Oh, they're sending out Ninetales next. They're electing to cook that Absol. Battle of the Doggos. We have Ninetales versus Absol. Ninetales is going to go for a power swap. That's huh. stats. Is it now? Absol is going to go for Stone Edge. That's super effective on Ninetales. It has not very much in the way of defense against that. And Ninetales is going to use Overheat. It's more than enough to finish off Absol at this point. But now it's greatly decreased its special attack. Rut row. Ninetales is just barely holding on as it takes out Absol and Blue's gonna lose our first Pokemon. I hope we see Weez Cash. That's a cool name, man. Weez Cash? <laughs> oh, it's Sableye. What's I, up, man? I, I mean, I've always called it Whiz Cash, but I, I enjoy <laughs> sort of. <laughs> I enjoy your pronunciation of. <laughs> Pokemon Thanks. names. It really <laughs> is it. <laughs> one of my favorite things about our sessions of commentary. <laughs> and the power gem coming out from Sableye. Not going to do very much since it's decreased as decreased special attack. Ninetales decreased special attack to be precise. And Overheat's going to hit for big damage, but Sableye's a tanky Pokemon too and it holds its own. Store some health there using its berry, and it's gonna go for another power gem that should be enough to take out uh, Ninetales. Even with the decreases, it just does not have enough to sustain the power gem. And Red is down to their last Pokemon. It's gonna be Muck. Remember, guys, Ekans backwards is Muck. Anyways, <laughs> meanwhile. Sableye faces off against this muck, it's going first, and that Dark Pulse is still not going to do very much. Uh, muck goes for a Shadow Ball. As it takes out Sableye, and it's going to be down and out. Neutral damage on that Dark Ghost is enough to take it down. Sunlight is strong in this Coliseum today, so it's down to one versus one. And Wario's Catfish is sent out from the blue team. What? Don't tell me you don't remember Wario's pet catfish. Followed him everywhere. <laughs> As it gets hit by a poison type move. Not going to be very effective, but it can poison ground types. And now it's feeling the heat. The hurt. Oh, oh magnitude. Here we go. It's a magnitude 10. Devastating critical hit. this ball oh. with a critical Monk. Muck with a critical hit. <laughs> wow, you're not going to see a move do much more damage than that one. That's the overkill there. Maximum. Whiskash's power is maximum -er. 20 times. 37% payout. Good job, guys. 
Your taste buds can't repel overpower or overkill of this magnitude. Uh, I I screwed it up, guys. I'm a, I'm a failure. What's what's that from? I haven't heard that. I was, it's like a robot chicken Admiral Akbar sketch. Oh, nice. One of those <laughs> things. Back attack. Nice. Cool. Very nice. Very clever. <laughs> Wait, back to naming I can't, I can't tell whether we want back or we want or we don't. <laughs> Oh, were they using that start to get to to get to the other name faster? Was that actually? It was all planned. My God. M <laughs> moves within moves. Chess. It's it's all a game of chess. Two tokens on the line, guys. Cross your fingers for the tokens. Crossing those fingers and toes. 